As those of you who have followed me for some time are familiar, I'm a huge fan of clarity. To me, clarity is the result of observing what's happening with no judgment, no filter, no agenda. There's little room for adjectives when being clear. I can say, well, that's a car. But if I say that's a red car, you may see it as more of an orange color. And if, God forbid, I describe it as a good-looking car, when you have the opposite opinion, well then, we could actually engage in a debate over the qualities, the data, of that vehicle. I see clarity as observation without opinion. Unless, of course, you want others to be clear about your opinion and not necessarily the observation. Clarity starts to get fuzzy when I utter an opinion as if it were fact, absolute reality. The 2020 election was stolen is not clear. It's an opinion presented as if everybody has enough data to know that and believe it. My take is that the 2020 election was stolen is a clear declaration of my personal, filtered, and perhaps agendized beliefs. From the other side of the aisle, Biden's programs are ruining the economy is unclear. Again, uttered as if it were common knowledge and everybody believed it. In my opinion, Biden's programs are ruining the economy states a clear point. But about my opinion, not necessarily Biden's programs. See the difference? It's my belief, see how I did that? That people do this to influence those with an earshot. It establishes, in the speaker's mind anyway, a tacit agreement with the listener. It would be too risky to say, the 2020 election was stolen, right? That would invite a challenge to the assumed reality. I have friends who are frequently proclaiming universal truths, politics, religion, public health, sports, of which they, nor I, have any actual provable data. It's simply an opinion they'd like to be accurate. So apparently, saying it often enough makes it so. This is my plea. You and I are entitled to our opinions. You are not entitled to force your version of reality on me by saying it often enough or loud enough for it to look accurate. You are entitled, however, to express your opinion to me so I can measure it against mine, agree or disagree, or offer my own. If further conversation is desired, we can have that. If not, we can just agree to disagree. For the sake of engaging in meaningful dialogue, please own your opinions. Preface that universal truth you have with, I think, or it's just my opinion, and watch dialogue ensue. And isn't that what everybody says they want, constructive dialogue? It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.